stirring spot, isn't it? Bobby's back. He must have really missed me. For all his criminal tendencies and ruthlessness, he's very loyal. Max is a, an interesting guy. He's pretty heavy metal. Rock and roll. Well, I was interested in the fact that Bobby was a self-made Billy. Bobby fucking Axelrod. Man of the people. He is from a blue-collar, kind of working professional background. I became a billionaire and in some ways epitomizes the American dream. And I think what the guys cleverly did is we started to see the direction of billions is very simple. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. What's the point of having fuck you money if you never say fuck you? I don't think there's a single character who isn't corrupted by coming into the sphere of billions. Even those who start out with good intentions. You betrayed my trust. We've got a fantastic story for this season. It was a clever piece of storytelling to leave Bobby walking into the distance in a private airport in Switzerland and not quite knowing where he was going to end up. When we learn exactly what he has been doing, of course, he bought a castle in the UK. That's typical of Axe wanting to buy into old money, knowing that that's not who he ever will be or ever has been. Come back with us. We need you. He's called back because everyone is terrified by what might happen if Michael Prince, running as an independent, ends up with any kind of power. He'll jump right back into what he loves doing best. Look what we have here with a scorched earth policy. Let's get to it. Working here is fantastic. That's why I've come back. The Billions family, I miss them. Now we're talking your love language. <laughs> it is easily the longest role I've played, and it's been so much fun. Saying goodbye is always bittersweet for actors. There's always a sadness that it's over. It's a goodbye. It's been a wild ride. It's been fun.